During this video, I'll show you step-by-step -step instructions on how to create your own whimsical sparkling crab. Inside the kit, you'll receive the tips and techniques, other examples of sparkling art painting party in a bags with their free tutorials that are available on my website at nettieprice.com. You'll receive a sparkling mini magnet, an 8x10 canvas board with a black line already painted, paint pots consisting of two white, one yellow, red, blue, and of course sparkles, along with a paintbrush, a paper plate, paper towel, and you'll need to get a cup of water. Now one thing that's not included is a black Sharpie marker. Now this I use it when the painting is completely dry and all done. Um, you can use a fine tip, a regular tip Sharpie. It could be a black marker or a black pen. So with that, let's get started. I'm going to begin with the crabby's eyes. Now if you notice, he has white eyes with a pupil in the middle. That we're going to mix with paint and I'll show you later, later, but first we're going to do his eyeballs. So I'm going to start with white. I have my brush. I'm just going to dip it right into the paint and I don't want to cover all of the black line, just most of it. Just go around in a circle. Now remember, in order to cover the black line, you have to add white to whatever color you choose. So, after we do multiple layers of the white in the eyes, then we're going to add the color to the rest of the crab. The crab is red, so we're going to add some red and white. Okay, there we go. Now, if you notice, the crab is red with yellow and white polka dots. So I'm going to take some red, and then, actually I'm going to get some white first and put it onto my plate. I'm just gonna scoop it out, just like that. Get most of the paint off, and then get a couple scoops of red. And what we're gonna do is just the first layer of the Krabby. I'm gonna start, dip it in the red, dip it in the white, and now I'm gonna go over to the top corner and come down. Now it's kind of pink, but that's okay because we just want to cover the black line. I don't want to cover all of the black line because I want to leave some of the black for a shadow and we're going to cut in with the background. But see, I'm covering about half of the black line. I'm using lots of paint and I'm just going to start with the bottom portion of his face. Now I want to come in really close to the eyes without losing the black line. Get some red and white. And I'm gonna cover over his mouth. So I'm coming up and over. And now the bottom of his jaw. Ooh, all the way around. And I'm gonna come over here. Getting close to the white but not covering the black line. And I'm just gonna fill in the rest of the crab. Now the next part is I'm gonna show you how to do his legs. The legs, they have segmented legs, so there's three parts. The first part is the top portion, mid portion. Now see how I'm leaving black in between? And the bottom pointy portion. Now the pointy portion, I'm kind of twisting my paintbrush. So I, I want to leave the black in between the segmented parts. Just like that. Now the next one, I don't want to lose the black to separate the legs. I do want to paint over it. There's the middle segment and then the pointy one. And lastly, the bottom portion, the middle segment, and then the pointy one. Now the next part, I want to do the big claw. And I'm going to come down, come around. I'm not covering all of the black, but most of it. And 
Now I want to do the second part. These are segmented, so I want to keep the line. And now I'm going to do the this part of the claw. Just like that. And fill it in. Now you can stop the video and do the other side of the crab. So I did the other side of the crab. I did the segmented portions of the legs. And now what I'm going to do is the background of the sand on the bottom of the crab. So what we want to do is take some yellow and white. I'm going to put it on the plate. I cleaned out my brush and I'm going to paddle some of the white. Oops. <laughs> some of the white onto the plate and some of the yellow. And get about two of them on there. Okay, now I'm going to dip it in the white, dip it in the yellow, and I'm going to start at the top and just go directly across and try to make the black line as thin as possible. Now I'm going to do a few layers of the sand. So I'm just going to put it in there and fill in with the yellow and the white. Come down here and I'm going to use the thin part of the brush to get in between the legs. And then the fat part of the brush to cover the rest of the canvas. Notice I'm just mixing it right on the canvas and I'm using a good amount of paint. There's plenty of paint. Coming down. And across. Now I'm going to do the bottom of the crabby body. And get the bottom of the leg. Now what I'm going to do is the whole other side of the sand. So stop the video and you can take your time to fill in the rest of the sand. So I finished the rest of the sand. I put the yellow and the white and I'm going to add a little bit more white to add texture to the sand. So I'm going to use straight white and make horizontal brush strokes with little I'm you know, just adding some, you know, how the sand goes, goes up and down. And then I'm going to take some yellow and alternate that with just straight yellow. Now, if you want to, you can do another layer on the sand later on. Um, but I kind of like the under shadow of the black. It kind of creates the shadow on the bottom of the sea floor. All right, now what we're going to do is the ocean. And I want to add a little bit of yellow to my blue. So I'm going to leave the yellow on my paintbrush and dollop out some more blue. And I'm going to use the white and the yellow that's there. So I'm going to get mostly blue, a little bit of white, and a bit of yellow. I'm going to keep it on my brush. And I'm going to cut in really close and really mix the paint on the canvas. I don't want to mix the colors on the plate because then it kills it, makes it flat. But when you mix it on the canvas, it the texture of the paint strokes really comes through. And you can go over it if it's just too much. Now I'm going to get a little bit more white and fill in the ocean. Cut around, cut in nice and close to that black line. Fit into the spaces. Now I'm going to use the, the small end of my paintbrush to get into these crevices. You don't want to have the black line too heavy. You want to make it as thin as possible. And 
then I'll use the flat end to really mix it in to make it look like water. I'm gonna get some white, more blue, come in nice and close. Let's continue throughout the rest of the water. I'm going to use the thin end to come here into the little portion, and then the thicker end to fill in. So I'm going to stop the video, and you can fill in the rest of the portion. So I finished the rest of the background of the blue and now I cleaned out my brush and I'm going to do another layer on the whites of the eyes. I'm going to go right into my white pot and just do another layer. Now I don't want to make it go all the way to the end. I want to have a little bit of the shadow, the black, come through. So I'm only going to take it to maybe an eighth of an inch to the edge. And I'm just gonna do another layer. And then the next step is, I wanna do a red layer on top of this pink. It's a little too pink for my taste. So I'm going to take some red right out of the pot. And I don't have to do a flat layer. I just wanna deepen it up, get some of the pink out, go in there real painterly and add some red so I want it to be a red crappy. You can take it right to the edge or not and go over and do some of the legs. Now if you want to stop the video and take your time with this part, please do so. I've painted this crabby so many times, I could probably do it in my sleep. <laughs> and coming around this side. And getting over some of that weight. going to finish with the last layer of bread over the crab. So stop the video. The next step that we're going to do is the pupil of his eyes. Now those we are not going to do with a sharpie marker. I'm just going to show you how to mix the paint so that we get like a really deep dark. It's going to be like a charcoal gray and all you really need to do is mix uh, blue, red, yellow, together. So I'm going to take a dollop of blue and get as much off as I can. Get some red and get most of that off. I can get off and get some yellow. And now I'm just going to mix it all together. And it's just going to turn into like a deep dark color. And what I'm going to do, I'm not even going to use my paintbrush. I'm going to get the paint off. I'm going to use the tip, the tip of the brush, which is very useful. And I want to have the crabby looking up and to the right. So my pupils are going to be in the upper right hand quadrant and they're going to be in the same spot. So I'm going to get a, get a lot of paint on the edge of my paintbrush and I'm going to swirl it out. I'm going to start at the middle and swirl my way out. I'm going to put the same space, the same spot on his eye, and then just keep going around and around. Now what you can do after this dries is go over it with a Sharpie marker and it'll look great. We just want to have our layer of paint, so I'm just 
swirling it and that's it for the eyes so far. I'm going to let that dry and clean off the back part of my paintbrush. And now the next step, we're going to do the polka dots. And they're uniformly put like a pattern over top of the crabby. So what I'm going to do is take yellow, dip it in, get a good amount of paint on there, and start with the big crabby and just swirl it around just like I did with the pupil of the eye. I want to have the next dot over slightly like a polka dot pattern. And this polka dot over here. And now I'm going to put one down here. And I'm going to go over all of the crab. I'm just going to do the big claws and the body. And just put polka dots over the whole thing. I'll show you a few more and then what you can do is stop the video and take your time and do the polka dots over. Now when you get to the edge, do a half a polka dot. Just cut it in half. Like over here, we're going to do a half, just a sliver. And you can do that like up in the corner. It's almost like you have like a paint marker. And you dip it in there. And fill it in. And another one over here. You'll notice I'm doing half polka dots. paintbrush around to get all the paint off of it. And now I'm going down into the body. Okay, now I'll stop the video and you can work on doing the rest of the polka dots throughout the Krabby's body. So I finished all the little yellow polka dots by using the tip of my brush and now I'm going to put another layer. I let it dry a little bit and I'm going to put another little polka dot on the inside of the yellow polka dot just to give it another layer. And I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller and go inside the polka dot. I love polka dots. I like to put polka dots th on things. They just make it so much more fun. So I'm going to do all these little polka dots. And make a little inside. Dip it. And I'm going to stop the video and you can finish and take your time and do the rest of the little polka dots. In addition, one more thing before you stop. I'm going to do the highlight on the eye. And that goes in the center, upper right hand quadrant of the pupil. Okay, have fun with your polka dots. Okay, the painting is dry. It's completely dry. It's dry to the touch and we're on the final stages of completing your painting. So now what I want to do is take my Sharpie marker and I just want to clean up some areas where I may have lost the black line. And this you can do just going through and, and it doesn't have to be uniform. It can be just in certain spots. Um, also, what I like to do is go around the, in the outside of the pupil and then just clean up that line a little bit. And this is where I put the eyelashes. So I'm going to go and bring down this eyelid just a little bit and 
kind of come around the side and then the eyelashes just come out just like that and these are optional you don't have to if you don't want to I just think it really makes the crab look really cute and I'm gonna come down like that and out with the eyelashes okay now for the sparkle the sparkles are up to you I love putting sparkle everywhere um, what I like to do is take the sparkle you just paint it paint it on just like it's paint I like to put a little bit above the eye on the eyelid and I think for this one I'm just going to put on the polka dots and just go over each polka dot now you can do multiple layers of sparkles if you wanted to sparkle even more you can use the back end of your brush to get it into the small spot spots if you want to and you can sparkle wherever your heart's desire so I'm going to leave this for you to finish. Thank you so much for joining me. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me at Nettie at NettiePrice.com or you can post your picture on my Facebook page at Nettie Price Sparkling Art. I'd love to see your finished painting. Thank you so much and have a great time painting. Bye.